So it's it is wonderful to see you. Um, I've got you on my Hack Eighty Two Photos podcast today. Two um, great, world-renowned, uh, world-famous players from the band Hurricane. Um, so this is exciting. And um, what is the most exciting news um, is that they have new music out for us to enjoy, and it's really great. Um, it's a new Hurricane album. It's called Reconnected, and I'm with uh, guitarist Robert Sarzo and bassist Tony Cavazzo. So this is an interesting morning. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kate. How are you? Nice to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Um, and I just wanted to share, um, I want to chat a little bit about the, um, the band and uh, the world famous songs and, um, you know, the origin of, of the music um it's it's of course it's i can't i can't be complimentary enough because um when i heard these songs i i really enjoyed them um and so this is a, it's a resurgence of the hurricane music that actually started um in the late eight or early 80s i'm sorry early 80s 84 84 that's when our, i think our first album or uh, EP yeah. released in 84. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to just, just to mention the names of those early albums. Um, which there are one, two, three, five actually albums. Um, Take What You Want. That was one. Over the yeah. Edge. 82. Two. Two. Slave to Throw. 1990. Liquid Fury, 2001, oh. and Reconnected, newly released the last week, um, as of August of 2023. So this yeah. is really cool. <laughs> because um, we've certainly enjoyed those those earlier um, recordings. And we've enjoyed them with our generations of, of listening. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, your contemporary artists, um, you know, we think back to the 80s, what, you, you know, what what rock is made of and what metal is made of. And, you know, you've been founders of that. Um, so the appearance of Reconnected was exciting for me. And I just, you know, I, I, I thought it was a real thrill. And these songs are great. I think they're going to be very popular songs. They're absolutely Thank are. You. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, you know, but you're masters in the you know, uh, song composition now. And so the, the way that they're crafted is, is um, very genuine. And um, I appreciation of that. Thank you. Yeah, we wanted to capture the old sound, but also bring it up to date. Um, uh, just to give you a quick rundown on the band, as you know, Tony and I, we've been, uh, you know, uh, doing records since, uh, early eighties. And, um, so when we, uh, reconnected, uh, back, um, uh, what was it like 13, 14 years ago, we, um, we, we started working with Mike Hansen, our, our, drummer that we're still using so we've done a lot of shows with him and touring and rehearsing with him and um with daniel schumann our uh vocalist now up to date it really feels uh like kind of what we had going on with the old hurricane in the formula of sound harmonics and uh and i think that's what people are experiencing is that and they're comparing it because, of course, they always compare to the old sound, the old me members like we, with Kelly and the band and with Jay, which is, you know, it's it's understandable. I mean, that's the obvious. That's what you do. But I think they totally, from what I'm reading on reviews, they they, they understand uh, the new sound of what we are doing now, which is still the formula. They say it still sounds like the old hurricane. So, yeah, that's because of... Uh, the consciousness of 
the first two records are in this album as well. And uh, I think, you know, having um, Mike Hansen and uh, Dan Schumann, it, it's been uh, a great chemistry working together in the uh, recording of the songs. So um, I, I'm glad you enjoy the uh, the songs. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, they're yeah. fun songs. The videos are cool. Yeah. Yeah, we got those two two videos, the Under Pressure one, which is a remake of the David Bowie, Freddie Mercury, Queen classic. And uh, we recorded that song a while back. Yes, yeah. And, and uh, what happened was we wanted to make the song uh, respectable, respectable. We didn't want to like make it a heavy metal song or something like that, because it is what it is. And it's a beautiful song. And, and it's really relevant to what's going on today in the world. And uh, uh we're all feeling that so i think it's a it's a great song for people to listen to and if you watch the video you can see you know some of the scenes that's in it that was put together by uh our videographer his name is sean anthony smith uh, sean anthony smith and he, he job on it Under yeah and, and you know we did that a while back during covid we actually had to uh film the scenes of us ourselves, you know, with uh, little tr little cameras or phone cameras, and our my, my wife did mine, and I'm sure Robert's wife did his, and uh, you know we uh, uh, just did it wherever we could do. We drove around, find found spots, you know, and I did some of mine in my little uh, rehearsal studio that I had in my house, and uh, mm -hmm. so okay. that, that's where that came from. It just brings back. I don't know, just, you know, the MTV, uh, to me, it was fresh. I haven't watched MTV, to be honest, since the 80s. I mean, I watched yeah, it. Yeah, I've never watched That's it. It was really fresh to me. Um, but I like the newness of the, the video, of course, and that song, Under Pressure, and how the video portrays the world, and it's different news clips of um, events, you know, contemporary events that are happening. Or that in the from the recent past, it just happened. Right, right. Within the last three years. Yeah, and and of course, um, you know, there are things that do happen, like this recent hurricane that we had last week, and mm -hmm. it was Hurricane Hillary. And uh, sometimes mm -hmm. there's some damage, you know, there's some disaster or something. The world is suffering just a little bit. So, um, and then to have your album released, you know, that same week as the. Uh, effects of the hurricane faded um it was cheerful actually once we cranked up that that volume um i i found the, the music to be really cheerful yeah well you know free advertisement for us <laughs> oh. <laughs> we, we, we don't have control of the weather so far but it did work for us in a way, but in, a, in the same way, it's kind of dangerous. I mean, it's a, it's a strong force. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Right. But, um, terrific music, terrific videos, um, a whole lot of inspiration, um, in the songs and of course, a, a lot of skill and, uh, mastery showing in, in, in those new songs. And, I think that they're very likable. Um, the melodies are just catchy. Um, mm -hmm. It just sounds like real popular music to me with a real foundation in a classic rock and metal. And you hear a lot of that shredding. It's cool. And uh, the rhythm. And I know Mike Hansen couldn't join us today either. But um, that's okay. I hope, you know, maybe to catch him another time and say hello. Oh, yeah, another time. Yeah, yeah. The busy guy. But the, yeah. um, the drummer, you know, of course. Yeah. Uh, Mike, yeah. And uh, yeah, and Daniel. Yeah, uh, we we pay attention to uh, consciousness of choruses and intros and verses. And um, we wanted to have every song to be a little bit different. You know, uh, I myself, uh, I don't like to listen to an album that all the songs sound the same i like a little diversity and uh that's just you know my flavor uh i mean if you listen to tchaikovsky or beethoven you know there's variations of harmonics and uh and formulas of writing 
even though it's so classical, but you know, there's a little difference of styles and things going on. Um, you know, we're really pleased with uh, the reaction that we're getting from uh, listeners, and uh, and we're also uh, pleased that uh, we're getting airplay on XM Radio and uh, and other stations also. So, too. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, I think we're on on a good on, on a good track. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, doing some live shows as well too, and getting back to the festivals. You know, Hurricane the history. Um, you know, we, we were out on tour with Art Maiden. We used to do festivals and uh, we were doing a lot of shows, um, doing uh, arenas uh, again, you know, with uh, Art Maiden and uh, uh, what, what were some of the other bands uh, that we were Riker, out with? Uh, Macaulay yeah. Shooting Group, uh, Gary Moore, um, Cheap trick. trick. Cheap yeah, we were out with Cheap Trick for a little while. Striper, we did over 200 shows doing uh, mm. big, big rooms uh, back in the 80s. You know, when I mean big rooms, I mean we were playing in like Radio City Music Hall and uh, ah, yeah. So, yeah, we were in heavy, heavy rotation on MTV and uh, great. great. I, I did catch a hurricane. Um, show in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, when you opened up for Jeff Tate's Queensryche. Oh, my yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. First... That was recent. That was like, what, 10 years ago? Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it was 10, Tony. Uh, you know, but again, you know, we had a different singer. And, you know, he was great, but uh, Daniel really fits the formula of the original uh, Hurricane. In his melodic chamber, you know, uh, yeah, it, his voice, his voice. It's not, lack, it's not lacking anything. And I think maybe he, um, you could ask for a better replacement if you have to replace Kelly, well, to replace Kelly, right? Kelly Hansen. Well, you know, wait, it, it, after Kelly? It, it, yeah, Kelly Hansen, but to add to that, it's not so much replacing, but how do you move forward? How do you move, you know, be like what's next? Because, you know, that was an era, and I, you know, and I love that era, but it's like, where do we go from here? Which is actually, I think it was one of our other songs, right, Tony? Where do well, we that was go an early here? song, another song that we wrote a long time ago. Long time. We go from but, here. It never made it on an album. We oh, really? We should research that one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We did talk about that. We did talk about that. And that's a good song. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it would have to be a little more modern. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, obviously. But, yeah, yeah we can do that. Yeah. But just imagine that Kelly Hansen actually is, he's, when with the band Foreigner, or a long spell, is he, he still sings with Foreigner, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, they're... They're probably going to go through all through next year before they uh, retire, from what I've read. Oh. And, um, you know, what I don't know what anybody's going to do at, at that point, you know. So, so many bands say they're going to retire and then they, they don't retire or they come back a year later because, you know, you, you, you love what you do. And Musicians, you miss, you miss being on stage, you know, you miss playing with your bandmates and, it's just something that's embedded in your in your being in your blood and and you you can't get it out and they always say you know you don't choose music music chooses you and that's what happens you know you there's some little bird whispers in your ear you got to get back up on stage and start playing after you've done i i retired for 10 years right and then it came back you know kind of like what the people want or what the world needs or wants to to hear they want to hear voices of artists um and so if possible you know if the possibility is there then here we are you know and say well the world is still still needs us yeah <laughs> I, I, I agree to that wow, Kate. So. um you know but to be able to do that i mean we all, as a band, appreciate the fact that people are giving us a lot of love back and they're actually going out and buying our music. They're buying our album. And that's the only way 
that we can continue is, you know, we put out the product pretty much on our own effort. And now that they're buying it, so we can go ahead and move forward and get out there and perform because it's not free. Um, we don't have, you know, um, like a, the hand giving us money and living at home. So right. we, we have to survive. So I really appreciate it. And I want to say, you know, right now, again, that we really appreciate the fact that our friends and, and fans and people that are going out and buying the record, either download or ordering it online mm -hmm. uh, through uh, Escape uh, Music and also uh, it, Escape Music and, uh, cool. and Deco Entertainment, I believe it is what it yeah. is, right? One is music, one is entertainment. Right. Deco Entertainment and uh, Escape Music. So, uh, yeah, please continue, you know, buying the product so that way we can do more. Yeah, because, it's, you know, back in the old days, record companies used to support bands that they signed. They would support their tour. They would support uh, everything that to get them out there and play. But now it's it's not like that. It's on the musician to pay for transportation, airline flights, uh, hotels. It's all up to uh, us to do it on our own. So, you know, it, it, the only way we could do it is if the album really uh, starts uh, gaining ground and and uh, we are going to do some shows. We got things in the works right now, and we will be doing some shows, and we'll see how it goes from there. So, I can't wait to to um to hear you play, mm -hmm. well, for sure. Um, and to meet Dan, hopefully too. He's he's got a great voice. That he does. Yeah, he really does. Yeah. The sound of the. Yeah. You know, classic rock, rear roads. It's it's hair metal. It's classic hair metal. I've seen videos of your band Hurricane back in the day with your crazy hair running around. and uh, That was an era for sure. <laughs> the era of decadence. <laughs> Almost the, um, you know, the impact of, uh, of hair metal. So yeah. really fun. Yeah, it's fun and it's still fun. Um, you know, once it stops being fun, that's when you have to move on. And music is about being fun and feeling like a child again. You know, like when kids, we used to go out and play in the sandbox and we, you know, just be kids, be open, be real. Oh, yeah. And that's, fun that's that's fun but w once uh it, it's not fun anymore then it's just why bother you know so so music is yeah it's about energy it's it's, it's transferring harmonic energy mm -hmm. into the surrounding of you know whoever's in the in the audience and they pick that up they can tell when you're having fun or when you are not having fun well um for one, I want I want to touch on the names of these songs on the album, which is um on the name of which Rockstar Cheater is very catchy. Um I I like the song a lot. The lyrics are great. Um You and I Under Pressure, which is a cover song. Mm -hmm. Behind Your Shadow, Innocent Girl. Don't change your love. I'm on to you, which is a classic hurricane song. Remixed with Dan. Hand of Souls, Disconnected, Blind Love, and Wishing Well, which has a different um, kind of tempo to it. More of a, well, it's a slower song. It's but, an acoustic uh, song. Everything was done with acoustic instruments, and there's no drums in that song or no percussion. It's just uh, uh, me. I was playing a fretless acoustic bass on that, and Robert played a ukulele, and you know, I think that's all you played. You just a ukulele on it, right? Yeah, I used a uh, soprano sawtooth um, ukulele because they, they have four different sizes. So I used a soprano. I used the concert. And I used the tenor. 
And that's how um, I was able to get that chamber of sound. And uh, the tuning is different than the regular ukulele tuning also. I came up with my own tuning. So um, it, it's, uh, it's, it's a different style, but um, it's actually not hard to play. You just have to be really precise. And um, I would love to see a bunch of kids playing it because... Uh, you know, yeah. that would be a lot of fun, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, ukuleles, you know, they're so small that uh, children can hold on to it really easy. Right. Um, I heard those the sounds of the different instruments, and that's what I was, you know, was wondering how you had, had put it together. So that is interesting. It does sound like a wishing well, like coins dropping into, or water drops into a wishing well. Nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Um. The other songs um, are also great. I think classic songs. Um, could you tell me a little bit about how you recorded them? Well, basically, song? all the songs, uh, with the exception of uh, 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 Don't Change Your Love, which we actually recorded that in a studio, and Under Pressure, we recorded in a, in a re uh, recording studio. Everything else was recorded remotely because of COVID and all that stuff. And everybody has their own little studios at home. And we just recorded ideas and, and bounced them back and forth. And then we finally uh, got a real drum track on them through Mike's studio at, at his house. And then uh, I would lay the bass track and then Robert would do guitars and vocals with Dan. They would, it was just emailing back and forth the, the song ideas and the songs. Okay. And, and that's how we did it. We had to kind of reinvent the wheel because we weren't even sure how we were going to do this, and but we needed to do it. And uh, we started it, and we just figured it out as we went how to do it. And and what you get is uh, that what we have, you know, after it was you know mixed and everything, it you know we in a real studio was mixed, and it came out the way it did. It, um, was there a particular? Um software program or mixer um, uh, that you used? Well, uh, for me, uh, I just I, Pro Tools, you know, and, and yeah. not, not, Robert has too. He uses Pro Tools and Pro Mike, Tools. I'm not sure what he used to get his drums. His, his system is a lot he, more he was complicated using Pro than mine. Tools. Yeah. He, he was also using Pro Tools. Um, what I discovered that was working uh well and and a quicker pace was uh having a click track uh i would start the session i would lay the guitar parts and then that would go bounce um to let's say uh to tony or to daniel um uh, once we had all those uh guitar parts and some of the vocals and the bass uh uh it, it would you know it will go to uh, Mikey. Now, Mikey has uh, like 12 different microphones. Uh, he was recording it with adding on a MIDI channels also. So besides the audio miking, he had the MIDI. And uh, that went to, um, to Andy that was engineering and, and getting all the information. Now, Andy would transfer that and put it into audio. He had actually a really nice library also of drum sounds. Uh, and, you know, with Andy, uh, we were working with him for a bunch of years, way back to uh, the beginning of uh, Under Pressure. So uh, it was kind of an interesting uh, uh, setup, but it does work. And people have been using this now for years because people record things and they send things back and forward anywhere in the world. Uh, That's you the can modern use way of doing it. That's the way people yeah. are doing it nowadays. You know, yeah, so... Every song was a little different, like Tony said. Yeah, the, those other two songs, they were in the studio because we were actually here. But when uh, Mike now relocated, he's outside Illinois, uh, uh, like an hour away from Chicago. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we, we do different things now. And, and, and with COVID, yeah, we, we had to, um, you know, we didn't want to stop. We wanted to move on, and we did. It took a little longer, but we got the job done. And, uh, you know, and that's the most important thing, getting the final result. And right. um, here we are. Cool. Well, one thing um, 
Well, I still have you here for about 10 minutes more. Um, I got to talk about uh, how famous your brothers are, <laughs> if you don't mind, because I'm a big fan. But back in the day when, when Hurricane was formed, of course, you met the Hanson brothers, but was actually the day when um, Tony's brother, Carlos, was taking over Hawaii Riot as um, guitar. Well, the, the story about that is uh, Carlos and I had our own band called Snow, and we were always playing, you know, the whiskey and the Starwood and all the big clubs around here. We were like a regular rotation playing those places. And we always had great crowds at, at our shows. And uh, uh, Quiet Riot at that time with Kevin Dubro um, and the, uh, the earlier lineup with Randy Rhodes and Rudy was playing bass at the time. And when when I remember seeing them yeah. and, uh, you know, we were all, there's like a friendly rivalry between us. You know, we were always like, you know competing against each other which is common you know for young musicians to do that and uh uh we uh we, we were friends with those guys we really were and and uh when randy left to go with ozzy and then rudy left um kevin was it was recording uh, uh the his album which became quiet riot uh he asked carlos to come in and do some tracks and you know carlos went in and did the tracks not expecting to be the guitar player of that band. He figured that Randy would come back and we all believe that Randy would come back. And, but unfortunately he, he never made it. And, uh, mm -hmm. uh Randy, after, after Randy, uh, tragic accident and didn't make yeah, it. Yeah. Had his tragic accident. Uh, Rudy could not handle playing with Ozzy anymore. So he decided to come back to quiet riot. And that's when they started calling it quiet riot again, when Rudy came back. Um, I did some sessions with those guys before Rudy came back and, uh, you know, I got the songwriting credit for uh, uh, Bang Your Head, Mental Health, which was an old Snow song, mm -hmm. uh, with a different title, different lyrics and everything. Um, and that's how Carlos got involved with it. He, Like I said, he wasn't expecting to uh, be the permanent guy in that band, but it just um, ended up being that way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he was the guitarist of Quiet Riot for many years. Yeah, yeah. You re remind me again how many years it was? I would say he was with them for 22 years, playing with them, touring around the world. I um, mean, they went through different uh, lineup changes with bass players, and uh, and then even uh, Kevin left the band for a while, and they had Paul Shortino sing with them, and then okay. Kevin came back, and, uh, you know, they they were playing up until, you know, Kevin passed away. You know, they were still doing shows. Right, right. So when Kevin passed, there was a hiatus. Um, pretty much, yeah. That's when Carlos pretty much left the band. You know, actually, I think he left the band before Kevin passed away. But uh, um, it was a sad time for us all because you know we knew Kevin. You know, he was he was all right. He was a good guy. You know, always treated me kindly. Mm hmm. Um, and so who stepped in now, because we see a resurgence of uh, Fire Riot and Rudy Sarzo is, is playing bass for them. Yeah. Last time I saw Rudy Sarzo play, um, it was a Dio Disciples concert. Mm -hmm. um, but I think this last season, he actually was playing with another band, which they were calling... Something else. It was, I think it was the Guess Who. Oh, Guess Who, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, he was playing with the Guess Who for a while. And he's, you know, he's always appearing with different groups, so mm -hmm. it's fun. Um, and then, of course, um, who replaced Frankie Benali and Quiet Ryan was uh, on drums, Johnny Kelly now. Oh. Um, and, um, I'm not sure if Robert will come back. It's it's um maybe but, uh, we'll, you know. We'll hopefully see. We'll. <laughs> I know I'll catch him another time and we can definitely yeah. chat about fire. Yeah, he's always around, so you can catch him. Yes, 
Yeah, I wanted to definitely to 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 chat about uh, the band, and it's exciting uh, because they're back too. And that, of course, is Robert's brother, and uh, and your yeah, brother. Quiet, Quiet Rides is really doing really well because Rudy came back to the band. And you know, anytime you get an original person in any band, it's going to pick up, pick things up again. And uh, yeah, you know, in our band, we got two of us, so you know, we're 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 doing pretty good with that. Right. Yeah, so so that's cool, um, and that's rock history and metal history, and it's um, mm-hmm. it's not a thing of the past. And here we are, uh, you know, that music it it just lives, endures, and um, it just inspires. And um, you know, I think your listeners are, are really happy, um, you know, uh, that we might hopefully catch some shows. Well, we're working on all that. It's all in the works right now. Now that the album is released, we're starting to put shows, and it's going to be early next year before we can get out there and play because of everybody's schedules. Okay. Everybody, we are, we're all busy doing other things, you know. And right, right. You know, that's the way most but, musicians are these days. You know, and but next year everybody's open, so we'll be out there. You know. Sure, sure. Um, I love, just love that sound that 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 sound of that, you know, classic um, hair metal just uh, living on. Or, I mean, you know, making progress, progressing on. But um, so, so great. Um, well, I just want to thank you again for your time. And um, I'll thank Robert, too. And yeah. uh, thank your wife. Okay. For me. And um, I'm, I'm glad know. we got to chat a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh chat about quiet ryan and that certainly is yeah. well it's all history like you said and i hope that uh you know me talking about our past and quiet right a little bit it, it kind of opened up the door for a, a little history lesson about it so but yeah exactly this is all my opinion this is how i see it's saw just, it it's respecting know. musicians and respecting yeah. history and um and making you know hopefully new history and working mm-hmm. you know with contemporary artists um and the younger generation i just came from the uh, the um sofi stadium pantera Met- metallica show and it was terrific and uh, we'll oh yeah i heard there. about that yeah and halen's son played um opened up mm-hmm. wow what a what a tremendous evening great, that was their performances um it was great to be there and be a part yeah. of it you know yeah. i bet pretty amazing the metallica was celebrating um their formation in the 70s 70, 72 and then yeah. to have pantera back so these yeah these yeah great metal bands you know exactly so, you know, a whole lot of noise <laughs> being very noisy it's great yeah. Well, um, anything else um, you might want to add as I, as I wrap up? Well, I just hope that uh, everybody enjoys our album and people that have already got it or have bought, purchased it, we would really like to thank you. It's been a long time coming. Um, it was a work in progress and we finally got it. Um, that's really about it. You know, thank you once again for, you know, taking the time. Thank you for uh, making the music with your master craftsmanship. <laughs> and we're certainly like mad scientists. going to enjoy it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, wishing you all the best. And I okay. uh, hope to chat with you again soon. Oh, oh we will. I hope Thank you listen to your performance. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely say hi if possible. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye.